I used to always watch Project Runway. I, I have really enjoyed the show, but I, I, I haven't seen it much in quite some time. Last night, we ended Mr. Robot. We had watched it on demand because we missed it Wednesday. And I just channel surfed a little. We almost never channel surf these days. But we had cable on anyway, which we don't normally watch. And uh, so I, I just wasn't, wasn't ready for bed. So I just hopped around. Happened to notice that Project Runway was on. It caught my eye. It was the season finale. And I was kind of stunned. You know, it's always been cutting edge stuff. And it's always, the fashion's always kind of avant-garde, kind of edgy. Uh, but much of it is absolutely beautiful. I really, in the past, have enjoyed the show. So last night, there were four finalists. I had no idea what was going on. But there were four finalists. And one of them happened to be an Islamic lady. Uh, okay, that's cool. But what she was showing were what, what they referred to as modest clothing. So here's one example of her designs that were shown last night. Uh, I, one thing that, while well, I'm thinking about, it, I kind of want to point out just the hypocrisy of presenting this as modest clothing, but at the same time, Heidi Klum said, I like to show some skin, but you have made this clothing very provocative by showing ankles and wrists. Okay, what, 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 what kind of hypocrisy is that? That we're she's doing this to make it modest. That's the word they used. But yet at the same time, the designs are provocative. Hello, I really I found that kind of baffling. But that's actually just a side note because what I really want to emphasize here is the Islamification of our culture. And just, just lend some context. Here are some of the other designs from last night uh, and from different designers. They also featured plus size models, which again, you know, I, that's fine. I, I'm a plus size person myself at this phase of my life. I'm not hating on anybody, but it's just, you know, you want the focus when you are showing haute couture to be the clothing. And I, the clothing goes out of focus when, you, when you've when you got that kind of a, when it's on that kind of a body. Nothing against that, but let's face it, being slim is healthier. And I won't even get into that. You can go research that for yourself. It's obvious. It's clear. Everybody knows that. Easier on your heart, easier on your immune system. When you're overweight, you're carrying fat cells, and the fat cells are loaded with toxins. So it, slim is, is much healthier. Uh, here is the Islamic lady. Uh, and here's the, the, the designer. Here's the panel of designers. They were all on last night except for this lady who had already been eliminated. So here in the panel, you have, I believe she's Hispanic because she referred to that in her designs. Latino, for sure. Uh, referred to that. She was designing for Latino ladies. Here's the Muslim lady. Here's an Asian gentleman. And here's a, a white male. <laughs> uh, and he's evidently straight because he was talking about his girlfriend. So, but I, that's not about that. I don't want to emphasize that, but I do want to just show here that the, the multiculturalism is forced. I mean, you, you get, if you just randomly selected a panel of 10 people, 10 designers, do you think that randomly? you would end up with finalists that represent this much diversity. I, it just, the whole thing felt contrived to me. And again, here's the, the modesty. Um, and this was, you know, you could tell that it, this was being sold. And, and I mean that in a way of being, being forced on people. We're forced to accept this. 
as normal as natural and it's not it, this is not a part of american culture i'm sorry if people of this culture want to live here that's cool but why do why must we change to accommodate them and one thing that i was thinking was has there ever been an Amish or a Mennonite woman designing clothing on Project Runway and, you know, promoting modesty from that point of view, from, you know, a Christian sect? And it actually made me think of, just to throw some humor in here, the film For Richer or For Poorer, where Kirstie Alley and Tim Allen uh, have to go among the Amish to hide from the IRS. And actually, Kirstie Alley ends up uh, putting together a fashion show for Amish women. It's really pretty fun. Back to Project Runway. Yeah, that would if you're going to promote modesty, hey, have some Baptist ladies on who are designing uh, dark skirts and white blouses, okay? Are you really going to promote modesty? Let's not, let's not be hypocrites here. Let's not, let's not say that we're promoting diversity when actually there's, this is politically motivated to promote Islam. And I turned it off before the end last night because honestly, I just could not bear to see this lady win. And I was pretty sure she was going to win. Well, as it turned out, the Asian gentleman won and some of his designs were lovely. If you get a chance to watch the show and you're into that kind of thing, you might enjoy some of his work. It's not wearable at all, uh, which was the thing that, you know, there's a lot of big flouncy net and uh, it's it just not wearable except on the runway. But I can appreciate just the, the pure human expression in the work that he did. And all of them, really. I mean, they, it's it's interesting. It's fun. It's fun to watch Project Runway. If you enjoy making things, wearing things, uh, if you appreciate any kind of art or creativity, you might find something in Project Runway that you enjoy. Unfortunately, it has very, very obviously be become a political tool to promote chosen agendas.